Okay, so let's talk about Christmas. So um, a, lo a lot of times sellers are trying to come up with ideas for Christmas and they make Christmas themed shirts, you know, so shirts with holly and wreaths and stuff like that on them and, and things that look like Christmas sweaters uh, and hope that people will buy that at Christmas. Well, really, you might sell one or two of those, but really what people buy at Christmas are gifts. So there's nothing special that you have to do about Christmas. You just have to make shirts about what people would want to buy as gifts for other people. So really, that's the same kind of thing you would sell all year. You're just going to sell more of it. Um, so when people think about gifts for other people, they think, okay, well, what's, what's this person's hobby? What do they like? What kind of things do they like? What kind of shows do they watch? What kind of movies do they like? Um, et cetera. And, and they buy themed things for uh, the people who they want to buy gifts for. So using hobbies as an example, um, people like to buy shirts that are unique to the person they're giving the gift to. So let me give you a way that you can come up with some pretty cool Christmas uh, themed ideas. So the first thing that I would want to do is I want to find a list of hobbies. So there's all kinds of lists of hobbies. Here's a huge list of hobbies that someone has put together. Okay. So I'm not going to go through too many of them, but just to give you an idea. So um, writing and blogging is a hobby that a lot of people are into. Baking, refinishing furniture, catering, making music. So, you know, bartending, there, there's a good example. So let's say uh, I have a friend who is a, is a home bartender, uh, considers him or herself a mixologist. Uh, that kind of person is the perfect candidate for a bartending related t-shirt. So, and basically this idea that I'm going to explain to you, you can do for any, any of these, any of these hobbies, making wine, uh, catering, playing the stock market. It, it works for any of this kind of stuff, but I'm just going to use bartending to start. So let me do a search for bartender t-shirt. adult daycare director, AKA bartender, you know, there's a good shirt. You could do something like that. That's themed like that. Um, you know, psychologist, AKA bartender, therapist, AKA bartender, uh, make it your own, make it look different. But uh, I guarantee you that that is the kind of shirt that will sell. Now, the next thing that's really important around Christmas is people need to be able to find your product. So, um, this title says adult daycare director, AKA the bartender, black cotton t-shirt for men and women. Um, it's not bad because I did a search for bartender t-shirt and it came up pretty quickly in Google shopping, but you can do better than this. I would call this shirt adult daycare director, bartender, mixologist, drink lover, gift, men, women, t-shirt. So my title doesn't sound all that eloquent, but it's got a lot of the keywords in it that people would use when searching for a gift. What are you gonna search for if you're looking to buy a gift for a bartender? And you think maybe I can find a t-shirt. You're going to search for t-shirt gift ideas for bartenders. So what words need to be in the title of the shirt, gift, idea, t-shirt, bartender, get all those in. Think about what you would search for if you're looking for a gift for that person and then make sure those keywords are in the t-shirt title. 
and it's going to put you up into that top 10 percentile of, of t-shirt sellers online, which is where you want to be at Christmas. So I found that list of 547 hobbies or whatever it was. Uh, I now have 547 unique t-shirt ideas. Um, and the best thing is if I go back uh, and find a list of hobbies again. Bartender is a pretty popular hobby. But if you scroll through, you see some really unique, unique stuff like flea market shopping. I bet you there's not a lot of flea market shopping t-shirts out there, but I bet you there are a lot of people who have the hobby of flea market shopping. So you're going to get people at Christmas searching for things like gifts for people who love flea market shopping, uh, gifts for flea market fans. So if you happen to have a flea market shopping t-shirt on your site and you're one of the few people on the planet who does, you're probably going to sell a t-shirt at Christmas. And by the way, the good thing about this is it's not just Christmas because you're going to title it gift ideas for flea market shopping fans, something like that t-shirt gift idea for flea market shopping fan. It's not just Christmas when people buy gifts, it's birthdays as well. Um, parties, graduations, etc. So you'll be able to sell this shirt actually all year. Um, you're just targeting toward people who are buying gifts for other people. So that's about the best advice that I can give you for creating t-shirts for Christmas. Create hobby related things or interest related things. Make sure that you title it in such a way that someone who is searching for it as a gift for someone else can find it and make lots of them. Um, if I had the time, uh, I would probably make a shirt for every one of these 549 ideas uh, before Christmas. Which brings me to another thing that you need to know, which is people who make money in the t-shirt business do not spend tons and tons and tons and tons of time on it, especially if it's not their uh, day job. So if it's not your day job, and you don't have a lot of time to make 500 some odd t-shirts or you don't have the experience to make 500 some odd t-shirts well I'll pick maybe the pick maybe 20 unique ones that you think you want on your site and outsource them so one way to outsource and my personal favorite for obvious reasons is using graphic t code services so just as a little reminder about how you do that uh, if I go to services.graphictcoach.com and I log in. Then I go to project request. I want to do a design request and I want to make a, a bartender t-shirt that's similar to that one we just looked at but a little different. Um, so the title that I'm going to request is uh, bartender, AKA psychologist, funny psychologist, bartending, drink, fan, gift, idea, t-shirt. Okay, I've got all those keywords in that I said. Uh, and then I'm going to say, um, and look at bartender t shirt. And I'm going to say, uh, make me something that looks like this but unique to me and then i'm going to request the project 
and that's it. So it took me about 30 seconds to submit that design request. It's probably going to take uh, the designer um, 20 minutes or so to make that t-shirt. So it's going to cost around $3 or so to make that t-shirt $4. So all you need to do is sell uh, one of those t-shirts and you've already doubled, doubled your investment. But the way it actually works is over the next several years, you'll sell several of those t-shirts. So of course you want to, you don't want to spend thousands of dollars outsourcing t-shirt designs if you're not making thousands of dollars already selling t-shirts. But if you're making a couple hundred dollars selling t-shirts, you definitely want to take some percentage of that 20% and reinvest it back into making more t-shirts. That's going to make you grow and grow and grow and grow. And that's what you need to do. You need to have a lot of different unique designs well titled on your site. Um, and if you do that, and if you do that consistently over the course of the next year, then whatever you sell this Christmas, you'll probably triple it by the following Christmas. So you have to think a little bit long-term in this business, but it will be well, uh, well worth it if you do. And uh, that's about all I've got for you today. So uh, good luck getting ready for Halloween and the election and Christmas. And then, and then after that, we'll move on to some new things. Uh, football playoffs, uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, um, and, and various other things that are going to come up next year that keep, that keep this cycle of, uh, of buying happy. And one other thing I want to say is that I, I expect that this Christmas 2020 is going to be one of the best Christmas sales seasons for online t-shirt sellers ever. Uh, and that is because of the pandemic. And a lot of people are just going to shop more online than they ever have in the past. So you definitely want to be ready for this Christmas season, get your designs done, get your designs requests in and um, make sure you get yourself ready over the month of October.